together. Steam Boss video. I hope everyone is having a great day today. So we're going to be doing some marble refinishing today. Going to a property. The floor has a lot of scratches and etches in it that is very typical with uh, not only marble, but also travertine floors as well. So we're going to be going over there today, showing you how we kind of go about the process of the job to restore this floor back to like new. Without further ado, let's go. A few moments later. All right, so here we are at the job here. We have this nice marble floor that we're gonna be refinishing. Now on the surface, on camera, it looks pretty good. Um, you may not see too many things. However, when you are here in person, um, there you can kind of see right there in the corner of the camera, all of these scratches kind of throughout this floor here. You can really see it. The finish is pretty dulled on it. Got a lot of scratches in the kitchen here. We have a lot of uh, etch marks here. If I can show you, there you go. A lot of etch marks in this floor, just from normal wear and tear, from being in the kitchen and everything else. So we're gonna take care of all of this today. We're going to be uh, taking the stone down enough to remove all of those scratches from the surface, remove the etching, all of that stuff, cleaning this floor, and then we are going to be polishing this floor and then sealing this floor. So in the end, I think it's gonna turn out really, really good. Let's get to work. All right, so we're working on the first step here to take out some of these deep scratches that are in this kitchen. Uh, we'll do this as the first step here until all of the deep scratches are gone and we have a good base to start moving up from there. All right, so as you can see here in the middle of the flooring, the difference of the finish where we went and removed all the really, really deep scratches that were here. So now we're gonna go over the whole thing and break this polish and get rid of all the finer scratches and continue on. So what we're doing now is we are on the second step of technically four. Uh, so now that we've honed the floor down to remove all the bulk scratches, deeper scratches, all the etching and stuff like that, we are now starting to bring the floor back up so it'll look really nice with a nice polish on it. And this is the first step of that. Technically, I guess you could say one of three for polish. And uh, we'll keep doing this. And you'll see a big difference in the transformation of the floor in the next few steps. Um, you can see the floor has a little bit of a sheen to it already. That's kind of what it looks like, but you can see all of those uh, scratches and everything are all gone. Looking good. So we are gonna have to clean this too at one point and I will pre in, be in pretty good shape. Eventually. So at this point of the project, we're going to notice that even after we've mopped the floor here, there's quite a bit of white dust on the floor. So there's some stone slurry here. Uh, so we are going to have to clean this floor art before we uh, final polish it as well as seal it. All right, so now we are rinsing the floor to remove all of the residue here. All right, so now we are on the final polishing step here. Got Becky doing some of the corners over there. You can see kind of what it's turned out like over there. And over there, looking really good. All right, so final rinse here after we have cleaned it. So we're gonna let this dry, seal this, and this floor, we get to go.
All right, guys, now that we've rinsed the floor, let's go check it out. So we'll walk through here. We've got our drying fans drying her. Check it out. So this floor has been completely refinished here. Let's go to the window here so you can see. And as you can see, all of the uh, scratches and everything else that were in the floor before are gone. All the etching, all that kind of stuff. It's looking really, really nice. So what we're gonna do now is uh, apply a sealer over this floor, let her dry, and this floor will be good to go. All right, guys, we're gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. Now, by no means was this a how-to video. This is more of a video kind of just showing the step-by-step -step process from start to finish for marble and travertine floors so you guys get an idea of the process and what you can expect if you have this service done. So thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you are new. We really appreciate it. And as usual, we'll see all of you on the next video. Peace.